welcome back to save with scotty i am scotty and this is my house funds for june 1st it is literally like june 18th and i just haven't yeah so <laughs> i put my cash um my like cash one up a while ago even though i haven't put this one up uh, or i hadn't even filmed this one yet and i filmed me you know counting this out and taking it to the bank because i literally procrastinate and um, I went to the bank and swapped out for bigger bills, as you guys see. And then I just wrapped them up in the smaller bills so that... I know this has nothing to do with my house funds. But I wrapped them up in smaller bills so that um, you got... So that I wouldn't have, like, just a bunch of a bunch of hundreds. You know, there's already a few hundreds. I'm trying to find the rest of them. Um, but I didn't want to have too many hundreds. So I um, swapped them out. I should have another hundred, at least two more. There we go. Um, yeah, so when I do my other videos, I'll actually film, you know, me counting this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do it down the line. But regardless, I took all the money in and I swapped it out for bigger bills. And that is what you see here. I think it was like 300 and something. How much was it? No, I'm lying. It was 500, it was a total of $629. And that's pretty much what's in here. There is some coin in there still. 629.62 is what was in here. There there is the third hundred. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much what's in here. And I know I'm super late. I literally got paid already and divvied out my um, like food allowance because I went grocery shopping. But um, I'm gonna film the stuffing. Today is, what is today? Today is Saturday. Today's Saturday. I'm going to film them probably on Monday. Monday or Tuesday, it, probably Tuesday. I'm gonna film them on Tuesday and try to get them uploaded this week because I did get a miscellaneous check already and I still have to stuff the miscellaneous check. So I'm just a hot mess. I'm so behind. It, it is what it is at this point. But I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into stuffing my house funds for June 1st. Alrighty, so today I will be stuffing a total of $130 and I'm gonna go ahead and count this out first and lay it out and then we'll get to stuffing. So it's 20, 40, 60, hold on, sorry, they're sticking. It is 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130. So it's a total of $130. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. I think I'm gonna have to turn it. There's not enough space. How are you guys doing? Happy Juneteenth. Today's actually the 19th. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. If you don't know what Juneteenth, Juneteenth is, I highly encourage all of you guys to look into the history of it. It really just um, is a celebration for the uh, end of the enslavement of Black Americans. So there's so much more that goes into it, even though that technically wasn't the end of all of it because we had so much that happened afterwards. Um, I do appreciate the fact that uh, the federal government took time to recognize a holiday that we as African Americans, as Black Americans, that we've been celebrating for a very long time. Like, I pretty much have a party every year. Um, it's weird right now because my job has me kind of relocated, but I pretty much have like a little party celebration every year. Um, just as, you know, as big as other people do the 4th of July, that's usually what I do on Juneteenth because that is my Independence Day. So happy Juneteenth. I might actually try to hurry up and edit this and put it online so that I can put it out on actual Juneteenth. So um, I just wanted to say that for any of you guys who might not know, I highly, highly encourage you guys to look into it. That marked the end of slavery for um, African Americans, or I, I really hate the term African Americans, just because like my family's Caribbean. So um, I'm actually from Jamaica, so I can kind of trace my roots to there. Obviously, even further back, it's going to go back to Africa, but there's just so much, regardless not to get away from the point of Juneteenth, I highly encourage you all to look into the history of Juneteenth and gain a deeper understanding and appreciation for our Independence Day. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and count out living room. Living room has a total of 100, 200, 120, or 200, 220, 240, 260, 270. Has a total of 270. And I hope you guys can see this. Yeah, you guys can see it. I was hoping you guys could see it that the like the pen wouldn't be too light. Um, 
I mean, yeah, you can see it's not as dark as I want it to be, but it's fine. So it has a total of $270 and it's going to be getting a total of $25. So it now has, I did that backwards. There we go. It now has a total of 100, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. Now it has a total of 295 in my living room fund. And the next one is going to be master bath or master bathroom, master bedroom. And that currently has a total of 1, 2, 220, 240, 245. And it's going to be getting a total deposit of $20. And that's just going to be as 120. And so it has 1, 2, 200, 220, 40, 60, 265. Total of $265. And then the next one is going to be taxes. And taxes is going to also get $20. And it has 100, 200, 220, 230, 235. Two. 35 and the air just kicked on in here because I was not paying attention and made sure it was off before so I'm gonna go turn that off real quick I don't even know if you guys can hear the air but I know a couple times when I watched my videos back I could hear the air in the background and I was like that is so annoying so I'm like there's probably some other people out there who may feel the same way so I'm just gonna be cognizant of that um the next one's kitchen and kitchen has 100 150 160 160 dollars and kitchen will be getting a total of kitchen will be getting a total of ten dollars yes ten so it's gonna have 170 no real need to count that and then the next one is going to be first month expenses And it currently has $110 and it's going to be getting five, I believe. Yep, so it's gonna get $5. And then the next one is groceries and groceries is going to be a total of $10, I believe is gonna, what it's gonna get. So it's gonna get $10. Um, and like I was saying, I'm going to drop this one down a little bit because I don't think like connectivity fees are going to be that much. I think my goal right now for that one is a total of $500, but I don't think it's going to cost. I think maybe $200 is probably a good stopping point for first month expenses. I don't really expect to have a lot of connectivity fees. I don't, I don't know. I just don't project it. Maybe, maybe 300, bringing it down from 500 to 300. That might be the safest bet for that one. Um, but yeah, so groceries has a total of 50, 100, uh, 110, and it's going to be getting 10, so it has a total of $120 in it. And then the next one is repairs, and repairs will also be getting $10, and it has a total of 50, 100, 120, 130, 140. One, uh oh. $140 and it's going to get an additional 10 so it'll have 150 in it and I guess later on I can break these bills up a little bit better um, with some bigger bills um, and then the next one is household supplies and that one's going to be getting what is household supplies getting household supplies is getting five dollars I don't know why I have an extra 20 but I actually do know why I know why. Anyways, so House of Supplies is getting five and it has 20, 40, 60, 65. It's a total of $65 in it and it's going to get five. And so it has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. Don't know why I just counted that. That was the simplest math ever. $70 and the last one is going to be decor. And decor is going to be getting the obvious five. And it has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. 
and it's gonna be getting this five. So it's gonna have 80. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. $80. So I know why there's an extra 20. It's my own fault. Um, I literally took insurance out of this binder. Um, I took insurance out of this binder, but I still put the money, the, the extra 20 aside when I pulled the money out of the bank. So insurance was one of my sinking funds for my house fund. Um, but I pulled it out and made it an annual thing for my car because I found out that pretty much when you buy a house, it's bundled into your actual house payment, your homeowner's insurance, um, or at least that's what I'm gonna make sure happens. So that's why there is an extra 20. Oh, there's an extra 40. What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I have no idea where this extra 40 came from. I don't know. Maybe I'll watch this back and figure something out. Um, I'm debating on if I should have this as like a, ooh, allowance just got a bonus or if I should put it in my savings challenge or allocate it somewhere else. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna put it in my emergency fund. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So I have my little binder right here and my emergency fund is kind of fat right now. And I'm gonna add because I'm trying to get to 3000. Um, so I know this is like so janky because it was so unexpected, but I'm gonna add this to it now. So adding two more 20s, I'm gonna break up the fakes, the fake and the real ones. Um, there we go. So I'm gonna add it to my emergency fund. Um, real quick. I'm going to total this out and then I'm going to count what's in my emergency. No, I'll, I'll, I'll just count this now. So going back to like two weeks ago when I originally did my other ones, here they are. So my emergency fund has 1080 plus 120 is <laughs> simple math, 1300 I believe. I'm pretty sure it's 13 or 12. I think it's 12. So 1080, oh, whoops, 1080 plus 120 equals, yeah, 1200. Um, then I'm going to, so it should have 1200 in it, and I added 40, and that should be, oh my gosh, it's going to be 1240, 1200 plus 40 is 1240. Yikes. Um, yeah, so it'll have 1240 in it, but for what I'm going to do for my miscellaneous deposit, I'm I'm definitely adding this 40. So I don't think I have enough to do the full 120 in my miscellaneous. So when I do my miscellaneous, maybe I'll just I'll just add more to my June 15th to make this not complicated. So I'm gonna put 40 in here um, as my miscellaneous, and then my June 15th is just gonna be more than 120. So my emergency account now has 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, two, this is a thousand. Oh, my 1K slip. You know what? I'm a hot mess right now. So we will, I promise the next time I came on here, my 1K slip was gonna be done. So we're gonna just ignore it. We added the money to the we added the money to the emergency fund and we will count it all up when we come back and do the June 15th deposit. So I'm gonna put that aside and go back to present day and count up what I've deposited today. So I definitely did 120, not 130. One, no, I didn't, I did 110 because I did minus a 20. You know, what? we're gonna count because I don't have time for this, 25. Plus 20, so 45 plus 20 plus 15 plus 20 plus 10 equals 110. 110, 270 plus 245 plus 235 plus 160, plus 110, plus 110, plus 140, plus 65, plus 75, 
equals 14, 10, 1, 4, 1, 0. Oh. Perfect. So it had 14, 10. I added 1, 10. So that is 15, 20 is what it should have in it right now. My house fund has a total of 15, 20 in it. And I added 110 to it today. So that is pretty much it. This wraps it up. I'm pretty sure I cut out a lot of my hiccups because I had quite a few towards the end of this video um, in hiccups if I didn't enjoy the laughs. But I do appreciate all of you guys for watching this video. Um, if you did like it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below and make sure you subscribe. Um, like I said, I have a lot more videos that I need to, honestly, I need to record. Um, <laughs> I have the money, I just need to record it. But yeah, I appreciate all of you guys coming back each and every time I post a video. And that is all for, that is all that I have for you guys today. So happy savings. Whoa.